What's going on guys, Geo Level Up Design here, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that is um, pretty cool and you might not realize it at first, but you know, a lot of like in photography, you know, obviously level design and like gaming as, as well when you're making like nice sceneries um, and even like in, in artist aspects, right, when you're creating like scenes and levels in either 3 software or you know, once you're actually working inside of the engine. Um, is going to be a part of composition, right? And in composition, uh, there's a lot of things that go into it. But the one I wanted to talk about today, which is a, a pretty cool one, is about the elements to building those levels, right? Or building those those scenes. So there's three main ones. There's technically a fourth one, but the three main ones that everybody applies, I feel like every you known artist, level designer, you know, any field that works in that, you know, photography as well, you're going to have these three. And it's going to be a primary, secondary and tertiary elements um, basically kind of just breaking down you know what those are we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the primary elements all right so here's our first example of going into what those three elements are right so first off respective um, you know credits to all the artists and the, the, the designers of these maps um, or these like, the pictures we're gonna be looking at you know, really nice stuff and I feel like they're really good examples to kind of show that out so first thing we're going to start off is the primary elements right so primary elements are like the bigger parts of the world right the things that like I like to use building cities as examples because those are usually pretty pretty predominantly big shapes right and that's kind of how primary elements are designed right so usually what to do is to start out with just basic shapes overall and so kind of to show what I mean by that Primary elements are what takes up most of the scene. So in here, we kind of see a, a you know a triangle, or like kind of pyramid-like building. You know, obviously there's a pathing right here that goes up to it, and then some buildings surrounding it, right? So when I mean by primary elements, I actually mean starting out with the like the background, foreground of those big shapes. So simplest, like simplest way to put it is right here, right? Our primary element would be a triangle technically but let's say real escape is a 3d environment would be a pyramid so that would be one primary element a triangle right here next you see next to it kind of like a cylinder like a cylindrical building boom that's another primary element that got blocked out so you have a cylinder here uh we'd also have another one here that's kind of like um tubish kind of like a square as well with um like a rounded point which well kind of not well the tip is rounded but this part right here is more like a square so we have technically one square or a cylinder here and then a square on top of it and then maybe like a let's say like a maybe like a half like a little piece of a cylinder up there and, and same thing right we kind of just go on those steps in the background we have ovals like you could tell it's like it's rounded but for the scene it's basically a, a square right it's a square that's taking up the space and same up here and same up here and then this area too right not necessarily like specific shape uh, but it is a rectangle that leads up to a square or another rectangle building with a cylinder piece and a sphere on top or a circle uh, and then you basically just repeat that throughout the whole world right that's the primary elements that's the big bulk stuff that's in the in the scene and it's easy to break down and see it right from the get-go and when you start concepting it, you kind of start with that right you know concept artists are just you kind of like start sketching things in the big bulk of it very light um, and then as they start fine-tuning it, they'll add in darker shading to enhance it, right? Now secondary elements are very similar in that case too, where it's more like the not necessarily like It still shapes in a sense, but it's more like a, somewhat of the finer details So like secondary elements could be just like highlights to a building, right? So like second you have you know, the trees here uh, I mean a little like um, specific like highlights on top of the, the on the buildings you know, it could be the background stuff here too. Like we know in the primary elements, this would probably be two or a couple squares. And then the secondary element would be enhancing that, right? So put some mountains on it, right? So you kind of just give it a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of an accent. And you kind of just repeat that throughout it, right? You see like little smaller, not super finer details, but things that just enhance what's already there as the primary elements. Um, some people do use shapes for it still, still too. So you could, you know, stick to that practice and then you go into the next part which is the tertiary elements tertiary elements are um like the like small small details and i say small as in all right so like you know this could be technically maybe like a secondary element of a highlight but then the tertiary elements are the like the brush the bushes here right then you have the the railing here you have the little spacing here i, I guess i don't know if that's parking spots or not um you have the finer details on like the buildings you have like little accent points basically the, and the tertiary elements is the last thing because it is the 
like most nitty gritty part of building out a scene, right? Because, you know, primary elements, boom, just general shapes, what you want to do, okay, great. Secondary elements, what can we do to enhance that, right? You know, to uh, kind of like guide the, the players, or not players, the uh, viewer's eye to the scene, uh, which, you know, that's where we kind of do guiding lines, uh, you know, point, like this is pointing straight up into this building, which is like a good focal point. Um, and you have this on top here, which is also a good focal point. You see all this kind of like everything's pointing up towards it here, right? So the tertiary elements, I just like the, it's like almost like the final touches, right? The the emphasis on bringing the scene to life with more detail. Um, so that's one example. I'm going to go over another one now too, just kind of get, you know, a, another uh, concept in there. It'll be a little faster, but you'll kind of see an idea of what, you know, those three elements are into play. So let's, let's check that out now. Sweet. So here's another city example. Again, it's just the easiest one to kind of paint the, the, the picture of those elements into play. So we're going to just go from, right from the get-go, right? What are the primary elements? So we have here cube, cube, cube or square, um, kind of like a half a cylinder. We got a square, uh, kind of a triangle on top, a cylinder, cylinder, square, square, so on and so forth, right? That basically repeats through all of it. What are the secondary elements? So now those are the things that not necessarily like super fine details, but still building out the world, right? To balance it out and get the right composition on it. So to do that, you know, we'll have roads, right? So again, same concept, squares, basically squares here, the little bridges, uh, you know, adding like a little background to fill in the space and also bring it back, you know, bring it more to life. You know, adding something that kind of goes into the foreground and the background there. Um, and and it's, you just repeat that across everything. So now once you have, at the end, your primary elements, right? You're going to be all these cities, which are basically just cubes still at this point. Uh, maybe like some smaller details added on to like the tops of them being different and everything. Um, and you have all the roads and kind of like an area mapped out. Now the tertiary elements are the ones that it's just like very specific, like very detail um, focused, right? So we'll have, again, looking at the buildings, right? The windows. Those are tertiary elements. You have these uh, ships, right? They may be, you could technically label them as primary elements just by putting a cube here, so you know that something's going to be there. Uh, but now tertiary elements is adding those those really specific things, right? Really like things you wouldn't notice. Like I wouldn't have noticed looking at this building that there were uh, like uh, there was cars like driving here, right? See along this road, cars coming up here. Those are the finer details to bring to to life the the scene. Um, and again, that's another example. And you could see, like, once you start looking at, at photography and pictures of things or looking at games, you'll get a better idea of, like, wow, like, okay, looking at the, let's, what are the elements just, if I take a screenshot of this picture, right, like a, a, big, a big, a main city, right, you'll see, okay, there's a couple cubes, there's a triangle here, there's, it's going to be a lot of cubes, like cities and buildings, whatever, but, um, and then you see, okay, that's done, now what are the secondary elements? Things enhancing it, right, could be a, a border around the building, right, like right here, there's a wall. Or at least it looks like a wall. It could be a mountain ridge or something, but that's a wall that's adding emphasis to it and giving a little more detail to it. And then tertiary elements again are the really specific stuff. Okay, these like signs on buildings, um, you know, maybe a, a collapsed chimney or whatever the case may be. Um, I want to do show a, another example too of a not necessarily like a city, uh, but something else that kind of just you know paints that picture. Let's let's look at the, the last example now. Cool. Final example here, I know I said I wanted to stay away from cities, but I figured I kind of paint an idea of like, let's say you're looking at a big map, like a world map of a, of a, of a town, right? Um, you know, how do they break down those elements in, per section, right? Because they will, usually don't do it all at once. You know, they don't build out everything, but they'll build out areas like, oh, if I know in a city, there's going to be a zoo, right? They'll build out a zoo. You know, then at once they have certain elements built out, they'll tie them all together in a way that flows nicely. Um, but here's kind of a, a easier example of how to get that done, right? So we're looking at a, a basically a great crazy mansion <laughs> that has, you know, like a little front courtyard, a uh, pool, or maybe like a little like uh, pond area, a little gazebo here, and a path that goes up to, it kind of looks like an arena back there, I could be wrong, and then uh, maybe like some sort of ruins or whatever. But again, breaking down to the three elements, what are the primary elements? Cube, cube, cube. Uh, cylinder cube 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 uh, we have a kind of like a cubish pointed background uh, square uh, cylinder sphere um, a half cylinder but again it could be technically a, a, a cube if we wanted to um, and then you know obviously back here we have a circle and a circle secondary elements what are the tying those things kind of together right secondary elements would be um, the border around here basically a circle 
we have a path that goes up here, but technically it's cubes, right? One cube here, a cube here, then a cube here. Uh, we have like the background, you know, this is more like tertiary details, but you have these like details that kind of point the, the player's eye to guide them in certain areas to, you know, what, what, what are they looking at, right? What, what do we want to keep them engaged on? Um, secondary element, or sorry, that was a secondary element. Tertiary elements are again, finer specific details. This like waterfall detail. This little, I, I think it's a maze or something around it. It's pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool. Um, this little cart, it looks like. Then you have like the bordering stairs or bordering um, columns around the stairs. You know, we have uh, the, the details on the mansion, the steps, this background, which kind of looks like it's a mountain ridge and a forest, maybe. You know, collapsed ruins, little smaller details, and etc. Tertiary is the easiest one to see because it's very specific, like very fine details. And primary ones are the like no brainer. You're going to see it as soon as you look in the scene, right? You're going to see those big shapes that stand out. And as you see those big shapes stand out, then you can start breaking it down to the next steps and then to the tertiary and then, you know, so on and so forth for any other scene. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, basically what those elements are. You know, primary, secondary, and tertiary elements are a big part in creating both photography, you know, uh, artist standpoints, making scenes. Uh, and also in game design too, right? Because when you're building out a level, um, you know, as a level designer, you're going to build out a level, you're going to have those principles in, in play too. Uh, depending what type of role you're playing, you might be doing both level designer and environment artist side, which if you don't know the difference between that, I'll, I'll put a link to one of the videos I'll post here. Um, and then, you know, you start just breaking it down, right? Start big and then work down into a smaller, finer circle of those tertiary elements. And after that point, once you have those down, then you start like, again, it's like, you know, painting it, the, the, giving the scene life, you know, whether painting the foliage, you know, adding rain, whatever the case is. Um, nonetheless, though, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment in the video. Uh, again, follow the channel, uh, like the video, uh, subscribe, uh, check me out on Twitch as well. I'll be going live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, some sporadic ones in between early and night. But again, appreciate y'all tuning in. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.